Well, the playoffs are for unlikely heroes, and I think that's what happened in this one with Marquez Valdez Scantling having a having an 100 plus yard performance and played really well. I mean, it wasn't one of those just, you know, sort of empty calorie 100 plus yard performances. He earned those yards. You know, he's a guy who they spent a decent amount of money on acquiring this season and hasn't entirely lived up to the hype so far. I mean, hasn't lived up to his contract. I mean, kind of has performed as he typically does. Uh, he does have, you know, 687 yards. It's not like he's done nothing but definitely this was his best performance in a Kansas City Chiefs uniform I would say the only one that I would think about comes close would be had a good game against San Francisco but that was only a few catches you know six catches 116 yards and a touchdown let's talk about not just the numbers but what he did so effectively starting off with this play I thought his route running was as good as I've seen from him you know uh he is someone who every now and then will uh show a good route and I thought he did a lot of them in this one, where it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup against Mike Hilton. You see it's, uh, you know, single safety deep, so getting towards the sideline is ideal, but there's an issue. If he just runs straight towards the sideline, Mike Hilton can keep up with him. You know, if you make it clear what you're doing, it's going to be difficult then to uh, get too open, which still might be not a terrible strategy, but uh, you're going to see that MVS has other ideas. Watch as this play begins. You see how far he moves towards the middle. I mean, he's going towards the middle. He's going towards the top of the screen. And so for Mike Hilton, who's running in that direction, it's hard to blame him for getting fooled because of how much effort MVS put into trying to fool him here. When Vada Scaling does cut back towards the outside, he gets enough separation that Mahomes makes a beautiful throw in his own right. Great stuff from them, but Mahomes makes beautiful throws consistently, right? It's your job to just give him a spot to make, you know, to put the ball, and that's what MVS did, and again, Mahomes is going to hit those pretty frequently. It wasn't a perfect day from MVS. I thought this one was uh, probably his worst play of the day, where it's going to be a, you know, it's man coverage once again. There are two safeties deep here, but if the safety closest towards the uh, top of the screen, it's actually going to be kind of more of a robber concept. I have it set up as though it's a cover two man, but the there is a safety who is going to be kind of in that area. However, uh, if he stays close enough towards the middle of the field, the sideline could be open. Look at how when, M when this play begins, Mahomes takes a snap, MVS has a step on his assigned man. So this is a seemingly good situation, and Mahomes likes it. He's going to make this throw, but this is going to be kind of a weird play where Valdez Scantling is going to, for some reason, look over his left shoulder. I don't really get why. It seems kind of obvious to me that the throw would go over his right shoulder. But look, as you see, he looks over his left shoulder. The throw is more towards the right, ends up falling incomplete. If he looks the right way, is he getting a completion? I don't know what's impossible to say, but it certainly would have been a lot closer had he done that. So, okay, a little bit of a mix-up, again, kind of a chemistry thing more than anything, but now with two weeks to prepare, knowing he's going to be a key figure, uh, as opposed to maybe just a role player as he has been this season, that could potentially help come Super Bowl. But also something like this I thought was a very good play, where, again, it's one of those plays where, on paper, there shouldn't be that much he can actually do here. It's uh, just a check-down route, essentially. But, you know, again, there still is value in being able to run a good check-down route. Mahomes is going to take the snap, looks down the field, doesn't love what he sees, so eventually just fires towards Valdez Scantling. And one of the benefits of having a guy like Mahomes is that, you know, uh, check downs have become easier, right? Because you have uh, the safeties and defensive backs going very far deep, taking away the deepest route you have on the screen. You also have Travis Kelsey getting extra attention. So for MVS, you see him right here. It's looking like he's going to get some yards. I mean, this feels pretty good for Valdez Scantling. But how many yards? That's the question, right? Because that's what matters uh, on this play. Of If a league average, uh, not league average, but like a replacement level wide receiver was in this spot, how many yards do we expect them to get? To me, looking at it, I'd say probably get to around a 40, right? That seems like what you're, you're hoping for here, what you're expecting here. Valdez Scantling starts running, but he does something very interesting right here, which is going to cut back towards the middle. And this is a risk because if you get tackled right away, you could be costing your team five or six yards right here. But he's reading this play actually perfectly. Because I do think if he just stayed towards the outside, I think he's getting to around a 40 still. That still feels about right to me. But instead, when he cuts back over the middle a little bit, he's able to get all the way to the 30-yard line. So he just gained 10 yards on that play. That's definitely significant and definitely valuable. And doing those a couple of times in a game for sure adds up. So, you know, again, 
little plays like that are part of how they were able to win this football game. Like a play like this is another just, I mean, these are really good routes. I mean, you see this, if you didn't know anything about him, you would think that he's like a really good wide receiver with how good of routes he's running. Uh, and maybe he is, maybe this is what he'll be in the Super Bowl as well. I don't know. But again, working one-on-one -on -one against Mike Hilton, who's a good corner, by the way. I mean, he didn't have a great game in this one, but part of that was Valdez Scantling kept beating him. Uh, what's going to happen is it's a, again, man coverage. You have a safety over the middle, but you know, towards the outside, that is where it's going to be open. So once again, if you kind of uh, can get the corner to move over the middle and then get to the outside, you should be able to give Mahomes a window to make the throw. Watch how Mahomes takes the snap. You see the MVS on this play definitely runs closer towards the middle of the field to where Hilton is now following him in that direction. Well, this aspect of the play worked, so good job, MVS. You got to this point. Here is the obvious issue. If now you want to cut back towards the outside, you're going to have to be able to pull it off. You're going to have to be able to physically be able to do that, which is very difficult. But watch how he does have the shiftiness to be able to get to the outside. Once again, gets wide open. Once again, Mahomes makes the throw. I mean, this is just stuff that you expect from like Cooper Cup, not from Marquez Valdez-Scantling. But hey, I think they found maybe a nice role for him in the perfect time to be able to make this stuff happen. Now, unfortunately, the, for the... Uh, for the Chiefs and for MVS, the Eagles don't really do this stuff as much. But again, when you're playing Mahomes, you're going to try every single coverage. So there will be times when you get this opportunity. And again, MVS has been a contributor all year, but he hasn't, I don't think, had a game like this until this game uh, in a Chiefs uniform, I would say. Maybe just in any uniform period. But yeah, one last play. Let's talk about the uh, the touchdown. Why don't we? The touchdown was obviously a key play. Every touchdown in a game is a key play. But this one was, again, very good stuff from Valdez Scantling, I think, where at first you look at this play and think, okay, it's probably not going to get open. I mean, you have a uh, safety who's over the middle of the field, although what we know now is that that safety is actually going to move a lot further in. So this route does matter. But sometimes this is the kind of route you see receivers take off not as Scantling not doing it, but he is going to take advantage of something that his opposing cornerback on this play, once again, Mike Hilton, is going to do. Right when this play begins, you see Hilton is mostly concerned about getting beat towards the sideline as he knows he has help over the middle. Kind of the idea is if uh, Valdez Scantling does cut towards the sideline, then Hilton can just turn his hips and go in that direction because he's already kind of a step in that area. But if he doesn't, well, Hilton is at least in position to be able to run over the middle. That's kind of the idea. But the issue is that Valdez Scantling is just faster. Watch as MVS cuts over the middle. You see him get wide open. Mahomes makes the throw. They're able to get a touchdown. And again, his ability to consistently win in this game was absolutely massive as all of the injuries for the Chiefs that they had, and again, maybe they're not the most high-profile players who are going down, but still, you have players going down. They really needed Valdez Scantling in this one. I mean, Valdez Scantling had 116 yards. The receiver with the next most receiving yards in this game was Sky Moore with 13. I mean, that's insane that Valdez Scantling had over 100 yards more than the next leading receiver. Uh, and really, I mean, this was a, you know, Travis Kelsey, uh, Isaiah Pacheco had some nice plays, but then other than that, it was it was MVS. I mean, MVS was the guy in this one, and you have to think if they're going to win a Super Bowl, it's probably going to have to be with at least a, him having a key, uh, you know, him being a key contributor. And while maybe at times it didn't look like the contract, but he was totally living up to it. Right now, he's lived up to the contract. He's worth it just for that performance alone if, they able, if they're able to win a Super Bowl. No doubt about it. But that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.